Welcome to Wool Talks. It's Anne and Story Sheep here, of course. And today I'm having a guest from, uh, should I say, Sea Lapland, uh, all the way from Romaniemi, I think. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. And, and Mirva Tapaninen is here with me today talking a bit about our uh, project uh, that we did together uh, in the beginning of this spring about industrial tourism project. And maybe we start from the beginning, Mirva. Who are you and how have you ended up doing a project on industrial tourism? So my name is uh, Mirva Tapaninen and I work um, as an expert in project uh, management and administration and also a planning officer of service activities in responsibility in business and service competence group here in Lapland University of Applied Sciences. I came to Rovaniemi University of Applied Sciences 2009, so I have worked here about 12 years now. And before that, I worked for 10 years in uh, Finland Travel Bureau. And um, I have other tourism background also because I have graduated from this Rovaniemi University of, of Applied Sciences uh, 2013. And I graduated to Master of Hospitality Management. Uh, why industry and tourism in Sea Lapland? Uh, the idea for the project was born in Kemi uh, a few years ago. There were there were two, um, uh, sorry, one preliminar- preliminary um, project for this idea. And for that, um, Kemi, City of Kemi and Lapland University of Applied Sciences was planned in co- cooperation this project. And reason of the uh, project was that the tourism sector is highlighted in the provincial and uh, regional strategies as growing top ranked area that enables economic growth in peripheral regions. And uh, Lapland's tourism has grown dramatically over the last couple of years, but uh, before COVID. And international demand has been particularly hard for growth. Uh, But still, um, and the service offering in uh, Finland or Lapland or Sea Lapland especially needs to be diversified all year round. And this uh, product development should be ambitious in finding new customer segments and generating product, service, and experience innovations, and incorporating the round tourism brand as well as increasing the diverse, diverse net- networking of companies across in- industries. And the objective of uh, the development, development project is to promote the development of the business of SMEs in Silapland and the emerge of new innovative tourism services in the Silapland region. And this project will um, promote the emerge of high quality industrial tourism services based on the industrial char- characteristics of the region internationally recognized to top competence areas and cultural heritage over the years. So that's perhaps the short <laughs> cut of <Sorry>. why. <laughs> why. Why industrial tourism? And you, your project had been going on some time before I, I jumped in. Mm. Uh, you had, I think, three concepts of industrial tourism already planned. And, and also you wanted to have some help with the core story, uh, the regional core story done around the industrial tourism. And mm. uh, so we started working together. Uh, how did you end up that, to this idea that you need storification to help you further with the project? 
Mm, the topic has come up in the network of the industrial tourism project. So the need was from the region. And uh, I think uh, storytelling is an uh, important part of the development of tourism services and products. And um, Silapland has a um, very interesting history and cultural heritage, which could be highlighted more in tourism, for example. And for this reason, we have held two storytelling workshops on the project. Uh, this with uh, Tarinakone, you, uh, this March, and uh, uh, first was uh, uh, 2021, also on spring, there, yeah. there we start this process. Yeah, and we can kind of continue yeah, from that. Yeah. yeah, and we also are also um, about to publish the publication uh, Stories and Art of the Cultural Heritage of the Silla Plant as part of Industrial Tourism, which highlights the history and cultural heritage of the Silla Plant. So it's, uh, this publication is coming on, I think, on June, and it's only in Finnish. Yeah, that's good. And so what happened, uh, I ended up working together with you on the storification workshop, which continued from the storytelling workshop that you had already had before. I think there were very good story elements already found. And mm. how do you remember the storification? We had the story tree workshop mm. then uh, at the... Uh, with entrepreneurs and other people from the region and we did the core stories for those. Uh, how do you think that it worked for you and entrepreneurs? Uh, I think the method, method is perfect for this. Uh, the story tree is a good tool for story storytelling and it starts from the roots and uh, growth to diamonds or all this um, <laughs> branches, branches yes. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. and i think uh, with the help of uh, the story tree we we were able to create four separate stories on the themes of the project and although the stories were separate i think they still fit together and contained elements from each theme uh, how do you see that now that uh, what happened uh, after the story tree workshop, we, there were mm -hmm. these three concepts and then there was one group that was, was working on this regional core story. Mm -hmm. And after that, I, I continued helping you so that I, I then collected the story elements that everybody that we had found and then created those stories for those concepts and also the draft for the regional core story and that was a bit different uh, also for me because usually of course well it's a budget thing of course that there is uh, is there money that they, you can like buy this help from me to continue from the workshop so that we can get those drafts of the stories written mm -hmm. and so how do you see that how did it went <laughs> what happened <laughs> um I thought the stories in the workshop were good, and most of all, they tell tell us what life uh, was like in the area before. And I think they are also well suited for the development of the new industrial tourism services and products on the Sea Lapland area. And um, there are enough elements for several services or products, and they can also be develop, developed uh, further if they want. Yeah, definitely. Into the, mm. into the exp concept itself. Uh, how yeah. do you see that? What was the benefit that I continued working together with you so that you had the, that we, that I wrote those stories for you, the drafts? What do you see that is the benefit from that? Mm, I think it's um, good we have uh, finalized, finalized stories from you and I think um, uh, you, you were well prepared 
for the for workshop, even though some of the background materials was only delivered to you the night before the workshop. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but I think you also uh, got well finished stories after the workshop and um, get the idea from the from the stories be right in in uh, this workshop or these yeah. drafts you you pick the elements and um, to finalize stories of yeah. those drafts uh, in the end would you recommend for others uh, other maybe international tourism tourism project or like this industrial tourism projects that they should use also storification and maybe use uh, my services also. Absolutely. And in fact, I have already recommended you. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. This term industrial tourism is quite new and in Finland there is no university level Yes, done. Yeah, no university level research. <clears throat> yes, has not been done about this yeah. subject. Yes. yes, and for me in this project, I think my it was an eye opening process for me. Of course, I had not been, uh, I had not been in Tornio before, so it was like this northern Finland uh, new city for me to visit also, and doing this storification workshop together with you, and then. I think it was eye-opening for me to understand what does industrial tourism actually mean and how many uh, like different uh, fields it actually actually everything that is like uh, has to do with this uh, this like this like groceries and all of these these mm. things they are also industrial tourism so it's really. And I think in Finland, we have not been, we don't have maybe so much culture about this, like visiting factories and mm. having this kind of culture of that we can, uh, yeah, have tourists visit these yeah. kind of places. So yes. there is some, but I think that there is like in Middle Europe, they are doing much more this kind of tourist mm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Um Oili Ruokamo, who has um, uh, participant of this uh, preliminary project of this industrial tourism, has said that um, industrial tourism is a tourism in destinations that represent industry-related expertise from the past, present or future. Mm. And uh, the concept of industrial tourism is broadly divided into three parts, heritage tourism, business visits, and scientific tourism. So like you said, there are few uh, visiting cent centers uh, or showrooms in Finland, but it, it can mean also uh, visit to factories, museums, and other cultural and industrial heritage sites or visits to a local company in the field of, nat for example, natural cosmetics, mm -hmm. a farm tourism destination, or the history and stories of the area, brewery visits like Lapinpanimo, yeah. or tasting of the region's traditional food. That's also industrial tourism, I think. Storification, making it into a story experience that people can mm. be part of and experience the, yeah, the industry. Mm. With him and yes. Of course, it is something also uh, a way to yeah, be part of the regional kind of history and background and understand the lifestyle of the people in the, mm. in the region. I think what we talked also in the Sila plant stories yeah. a lot that it's the industrial uh, background of the Sila plant is so much uh, seen also in the lifestyle of the people also today. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, Mirva, for taking this time and talk a little bit about this industrial tourism. And is there something you said, you said that maybe a one demo project is happening around those concepts that we did or what's happening? What's the next step in the project? Uh, thank you, Anna. Um, we have uh, uh, now uh, test, I think, uh, three concepts, which are... Um, Those that we did are, together, yeah. they are, yes. Yes, yes, from the concept ideas where yeah. we were uh, worked in this workshop. Yeah. We have tested and now we are um, we give uh, them to uh, sea Lapland area and hope that um, some of them are going further develop develop i think one of is going and this one is that one i mentioned that there is some part of this um, story which you ended yes and uh, and now the this project is ending this july so mm -hmm. now we are ending this uh, publication and also another publication uh, where we tell results of this uh, project and this storification is one article in this oh, that's, yeah, in, in this um, <laughs> publication and this uh, stories with uh, you ended uh, part together, of yes. that. <laughs> Yeah, so nice to hear. So yes. wonderful. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Mirva. Take care. And there's a lot to do when you are like wrapping, how to say, wrapping up the project, which has been, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>